Welcome back, CAD 201 Parametric Modeling. <clears throat> we're going to draw this connecting rod. I want to show you how to do that. And we're going to just take off and go to New, Standard IPT. This is loading up. This looks like it's carbon steel. So we'll go ahead and get that all set up. So I'm going to go ahead and just right click on part one, I properties, and we're going to physical. This is going to be carbon steel. Carbon steel. There's all the properties. We'll get that. Now we're ready to start drawing, start 2D sketch. We're going to start on the XY plane. I'm just going to ahead, go ahead and start drawing this thing out. And it's 6.5 between the circles. So I just, uh, I'll start on the small end here. Diameter is 1.25. And we can actually go ahead and hit, hit the other one, which is going to be a diameter of 1. I want to go a line right down the center of it, coming down this way. And it looks like it's 6.5. And it is to the center of this one inch radius. One inch radius will be two inch diameter. Hit it again. And this is going to be 1.25. I messed up on that. It should be double that. 1.25 so will be 2.5. We got that portion of it done. So I want to put a line come up here to the quadrant. We'll trim all that out. So that's all trimmed out. We'll do an offset of this line right here. And it looks to me like it's half inch is on the inside of it, 0.75 on the out. So do an offset, 0.375, that's half of it. And another 0.375 would make three quarters. Okay. We'll do another trim just to kind of keep everything in check and clean. I'm going to do that. I've seen it do a shift on me. <clears throat> I don't want that to happen yet. So we'll keep that. I'll actually delete that line out right now. I don't even need that. I'll trim. And just to keep my measurements accurate at this time, I'm going to make sure I dimension from that center to this center should be 6.5. That way it'll constrain and hold that and it won't move it. All right. Now this thing, too... Looks like it has like it comes up here with a radius on it. And then it's got a little piece up here at the top. So it looks like I want to go from the center of this with a line. I want to shoot this line up 1.5 because it says on there 3. And I want to come over from the edge of it 0.5. And then I want to come over and down, I'm just going to stop it about right there. And we don't know really, you know, I've got a measurement here, 0.25 from the center. So this thing come up right here, and it looks like it's going to be taller. It goes from the center, and we've got a radius of 0.25. So this is going to go up another 0.25. Okay. I was going to offset it, so I'm just going to just take and go up 0.25, just like that. Come across 0.5, and then back. And I'm not as far as I'm going to go right now, because this is the center, and I don't want to be duplicating lines, so I'll delete that one out. I'm all the way up here now, and I want to put me a line from from that point down 
and it looks like okay I'm gonna put me a line about right there and I want to go ahead and dimension it from here to that end point point two five or actually that was going from the center point so that's point two five that's accurate and then this would be point five if you got point two five and point two five that'd be point five going like that <clears throat> and then it looks like to me this line comes out point from here over point seven five so I'm just going to take Get me a line drawn out like that, dimension it from that end to that point, point seven five, And then there's like a connector. It's like connecting here with a circle. It's a radius of 2. Now, so you're coming off this point. I'm going to delete some of this stuff so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. That way you can see a little better. Okay, now we're at this point. We want to take and we want this tangent and touch this point right here. Now I want to show you uh, an old school method here <clears throat> that's worked for years. This is a drafting technique, but um, if you want, I'm going to show you two different techniques. Let's show you this old fashioned technique here. And what you want to do is click on this circle and click this end point because you want that tangent of that arc to hit this point. Click there and the radius is 2 so your diameter would be 4. Okay? And then offset this right here exactly wherever that radius is supposed to be 2. Now put your circle in and catch that point and then type in 2 or actually it would be 4 diameter 2 radius and you'll see how that actually nails and puts it right in there. That is an old school trick to get that put in there. And delete the rest of this stuff out. That's just a little trick to help you with that. But I'll show you there is another method that you could actually do with this. Um, Get all this stuff trimmed out, make it clean, and you would have that. We wouldn't even need this part because we have to do that and add that other sides to it in a minute. But there is another trick that you could do. You could actually put the um, the circle in, just do like a circle, and uh, the radius was two, so be four diameter. And I can take. <clears throat> I want to move that base point and catch it right there and I want to move that up and you can actually click on this constraint click this and then click that it brings it down to it and then you can take a line and bring it over from that point and then do a move click on this circle base point would be right there where that connects at and you notice it's not giving me a point well, you might have to go make your point right there. And you can do that by coming up here and hitting point and see how it'll catch that intersection. Now come up here to move. Again, click this. Your base point would be right there. Yes, and you can move it. And you can actually move it over to touches and then trim it out just like we did. Either way works, but those are two just uh, different techniques that I wanted to show you guys. But anyways, we got that in there, and what I would do at this point is just you could add the rest of this stuff down here. But what I would do myself, I want to take, and I will just take, and I'll delete out extra lines because you don't want extra lines because it won't extrude. So I just had to clean up everything and just make, I want to make sure that's clean, it's clean. And I know this one's already clean. So what I do, I want to grab this, this, I'm going to hit my control tab, click on these, click these, click this, and click this. I want to do a, a mirror. And mirror, 
mirror line. I don't have a line, so I'll have to go in there and add myself one just to the center of it. I got a little line there now. So it's back to the drawing board again with the mirror. Just come up here and grab all this stuff that you want to keep. My mirror line is this. Apply and done. And then trim out what you don't need. And basically there is the center portion of that layout. Oh, that's my center point. So now I'm just going to finish the sketch out. Extrude. And this thing looks to me like it is one inch wide. And uh, that's done. That's done. And, uh, well, actually, it's one one inch wide is on these pieces up here, and that's okay, too. But we'll have to cut the insides of it out. So now, you can go from there, and uh, you just have to take, start me a new sketch. And this is thinner on the inside. It's a half of an inch, so we've got to cut a quarter of this thing out, and that's okay. We can do that. So first, I'll find my center point here by clicking on this, and it should catch me the center point. See how the center point comes up? I'll come over to it. <clears throat> I'll grab it, and I'll actually go past it this time, 1.25, and needs to be doubled for the diameter, 2.5. Five. So we got that on there, and uh, we'll just go from there to there, and another line from there to there, trim it all out, finish, and extrude, and that only goes out uh, half of 0.25. Actually, that wouldn't be correct because we made the we made the thickness of this one. So I want to go back and fix that. I want to make this half inch thickness complete. So you just go up here and this extrusion, you right click on it and edit your feature. And I want instead of one inch, I want to do point five. So that's going to make that a lot better. And then up here, all I have to do is, again, make myself another sketch. Put that in. Put myself another circle in here. Finish sketch. We can extrude that out. It comes out the same amount, 0.25 extra. And we've got all that in there. And I'll show you up here, you want to put those round parts on. We could really do a really cool tool. It's called a fillet. And that is 0.25 radius, so we can change that. Select that edge. Select this edge. Select this and select that. Apply. Uh-oh. I hit the wrong one there. Cancel. So I want to go back to that fillet, edit my feature, and it won't let me undo it, so I'll just go in there and just delete it off and redo it. No big deal. Uh, go in there, fill it again, select the edges, catch that one, that one, that one, that one. Apply. That quick and easy, we've got that. Come over here, just do the same thing what you've done. And I think you guys are getting getting understanding what we're doing here. So I'll leave that with you after I do this one more side, just to kind of show you what we're doing. Come in here, kind of hover there, catch that center point, bring that up to there. Do the same thing again, catch that, bring that up to there. Bring you a line from there through it, trim it all out, finish sketch up, 
extrude 0.25 you got that same thing again start you a 2d sketch don't take just a minute to draw this thing up finish the sketch out and it will be the same thing quarter inch out It's actually, I don't think I centered that one right, because you can kind of see that a little bit. So let's go in here. Yeah, I missed something. Something didn't look right. That's what's wrong. 1.25, enter. 0.980 should be 1. It looks like everything's coming off the center. I bet it looks better now. Oh, that blends in a lot better, doesn't it? And then go in there and make you a new sketch and put your uh, those little cutouts. Those are only 0.125 thick. It doesn't go all the way through. It's just to alleviate some weight. And then put your holes in there. And I can actually see back here, too. There's something off on this one. So if there is something off, we can go back and fix it. Double-click your sketch, and I can see it right away at this right here. Dimension. That one's dead on the money. Dimension, this one is not. I can tell that by looking at it. And that's a radius of 1. So, 1. And then when I finish that sketch out, it smooths it up, and you know you're in good shape then. So go through there, get that drawn for me. If you have any problems or issues, just please contact me.